Yes, we see COVID is bumming a money pools. So, like, yo. Hi, guys, welcome to my channel and welcome to a new vlog. If you are new here or you are just passing by, you do have a seat like and subscribe and be a part of our family and if you're returning sabi welcome back to hey my eyes snap la period anyway guys i am starting a new vlog and i am so so proud of myself because <laughs> I'm really getting a hold of this vlogging thing before I always used to forget every time I go out or every time I do something but now I just pick up my camera and she need for control <laughs> love that for myself anyway guys so I'm gonna be vlogging today I am going now to the mall I need to get a pair of tackies for my son for school um so part of their uniform is white tackies and they want non-branded right so i bought him a pair in january and kids guys kids don't care a damn <clears throat> they don't care a damn about taking care of their clothes or their shoes when they're playing they just play and have fun at school so his shoes are now worn out so um i need to buy him a new pair i'm hoping that i can get the same pair because i previously got it at pep so i'm hoping i can get the same pair or something similar if not i'll check at ackerman's so i'm gonna do that and i'm gonna be checking for a few things at the mall and then we have a west pack in Puluguane. <laughs> like finally <laughs> guys in Puluguane did not have a west pack okay so yesterday they opened a new store and it's like five minutes from my place so i'm gonna head there as well and see if i can't doba doba a few things for the house and then hopefully by the time i'm done with all that it will be time to pick up banzi because it's currently 11 o'clock so i think i've got what two hours to do everything that's more than enough time so yeah i'm gonna do that i'm gonna take you guys with me hope you guys enjoy this video bye oh gosh guys like so let me show you guys what i'm wearing i'm wearing this nasa top that i got from h and m super cute i am wearing a pair of jeans but i cut them okay let me just try and bring you guys down you see i cut them la <laughs> i don't know why i did that but i just felt like doing that and then i'm wearing a pair of pumas um i think it's the puma kali oops 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 yeah i think it's the puma kali that i'm wearing and yeah and then i'm gonna carry a black bag just this normal bag that i got from Shein. and i'm smelling like zara is it command addict gourmand addict i don't know how to pronounce it child but that's how <clears throat> that's how i'm smelling and then i'm just gonna remove this and take down my bun and i am out okay <laughs> so i've taken down my hair i don't know whether i should wear it down or up but i feel like this is okay and another thing in Boraya, Oguti, i have to wear a mask like he has a good COVID is bumming a money pools. So like you have to wear a mask now and it's gonna ruin my makeup. But anyway, okay, let's go now guys. I'm ready. Let us vamos. What does Mr. Price mean? Like, is she mad? What? Just come out of Westpac. Oh, look at that. Ew. 
I've just come out of Westpac. I didn't get what I was looking for. I was looking for like those, you know, those acrylic, acrylic um, organizers. That's what I was looking for. I couldn't find it. So I did get some other stuff though. So I am going to fetch Bandy now. I'm Five minutes to one and his school is like um his school is like five minutes away three minutes away so that's where i'm headed now i'll catch up with you guys a bit later okay so i have just arrived at bangi's school it is not out yet so yeah that was quick <laughs> This is what I hate. Like, look at my face. My makeup is ruined because of just bloody mask. But I'm not going anywhere else. So I'm going straight home after this. Oh, and guys, let me show you guys what I got. Say goodbye! I bought a pie. Um, so I'm going to eat that because I haven't eaten. Okay, so, we have so I am back home guys. I will show you guys what I got a dollar in a little bit. I'm hungry. So let me eat this pie chair. And then unbox <laughs> unpack with you guys this i cannot believe like what is this has the content is a small i just spilled cold drink all over the floor and on some of the new stuff that i got oh and it's a white t-shirt okay this is clearly going to start on a pretty rocky way in a pretty rocky way so let's just get into it before he's in bored so um i went to westpac and i was looking for okay i was looking for the um, acrylic is it acrylic yeah it is acrylic acrylic um containers you know the ones i have um some that i bought at pep but i can't find them at pep anymore but those acrylic things that you put in the fridge or you organize your pantry with um i was looking for those because i want to organize the bathroom and i couldn't find them but i i did manage to get these for the fridge so maybe i'll take one of the ones that are, is in the fridge and and take it out and use this i got two of these these were like 59 rand or something it's for the fridge so i got that and then for here my ma my makeup desk um i want to organize like my makeup <clears throat> in here so i will be putting it in these very cute i think this is like 50 rand and the smaller ones are like 30 rand so excuse me that's what i got from westpac and then let me show you what i got from the other stores so just getting a thumbnail um i went to shoe city i did tell you guys that i wanted to get um tacky for bandy i went to pep I couldn't get any in his size. I went to um, Ackerman's, I still couldn't get. So I went to Shoe City and I got these. So these are the basic white tackies that they need for school. He wears a size 10 and these were like 200 bucks. So got those. Um, and then I went to Okay, so I obviously went to Ackerman's and then I couldn't um, not get him jeans because all his jeans are my corpse, like literally a humber above the ankle. That's how quickly he grows. 
so I got him two pairs of jeans. I got him this blue one. This one. He's really getting tall. Like, and the thing is, he's tall, but his waist is really small. So you never can get it right with him. So I got that jean. And then I got another darker one. I was I didn't want to get him a black one because he's got like two black ones um, that he usually wears to school when it's cold. So I got this darker one. Um, that's what the back looks like. So these were 120 each. So I got him those. That's it from Ackerman's. And then I <clears throat> went to Mr. Price. Now, this is the t-shirt that I've messed up with some coke, guys. <laughs> yeah, bon, the coke that I just spilled. So I got this Whitney Houston t-shirt. And the reason I got it, really, is because of this pink. I was actually going there looking for a pink shirt. I can't find a pink shirt anywhere. So if you guys know where I can get this kind of pink, shirt long sleeve preferably um please let me know because i checked i went to the fix i went to mr price i couldn't get it so i just took it because of this pink um because of those pink shoes that i got from mr price the last time so that's the top and then i also got this cute this was on special it was a hundred rand was special from 139 to 100 so you save like 40 rand on that and then i got this cute cute duck chill this is so cute this was 70 bucks i got that song is all you understand you get it if you don't get it forget about it <laughs> period so i got that as well yeah so that is it from my little run to the shops today um i will catch up with you guys later hi guys welcome to another day in my vlog um today i'm really not doing anything at all um sorry about that so as i was saying i'm really not doing anything at all today it is so cold I literally don't want to do anything I've been sitting with my hot water bottle and I'm wearing base um, hoodie jengi warm I don't want to go anywhere but I've just received a package from yep trying to get a thumbnail so um, I got this for my daughter that you guys see not for me this time <laughs> for a change um she's been begging me to get her um uh, a bra from puma is it, is it a bra or a skin whatever they call it but she's been asking me to get her one and so i did and I also got a pair of socks just so that the order was over 400, 500 grand or 400 grand or something. So I got her this um, bra. It says Puma with the um, leopard print thing. So, um, yeah, that's what I got for her. And then, um, also, I also got a pair of socks. I think I just wanted to get the free delivery. <laughs> One thing about me, child, I'll add something extra just so that I get the free delivery. I just got a pair of socks and i'm not really a sock person so i don't know maybe i might just give them to my daughter as well because she loves socks like like literally even when it's hot she will wear 
um socks so i don't know yeah i think i'll just give them to her she has four to seven and cool rooms yeah so um that is all that i got from puma i just wanted to unbox that and that is it i'm not doing anything today so it's shale lunch of chilling indoors doing nothing until i have to pick up bunzi and that's on period hi guys welcome to another day in my vlog oh my gosh guys i've just noticed that my son's room has got such dope lighting <laughs> oh my god you he has that dope lighting anyway guys um i just wanted to let you guys know that today me and bunzi are gonna try and shoot some content for jungle crunch a lot I don't know how that's gonna go i hope he's not too tired from school then we can shoot if he is then we'll try shooting tomorrow so um yeah you guys will have a look at how we shoot our content this should be interesting because obanzi doesn't really like shooting stuff but when he saw um the cereal he was kind of excited so i'm hoping that that excitement carries into the shooting part because child in Ghana I turn to shoot him but anyway okay um it's still kind of early so I'll go pick him up once I'm done bathing and stuff and then yeah you guys will see how we shoot our content <laughs> One eternity later. Hi guys, welcome to another day in my video. It's nice, ne? And the way you excited in con. I even came with my face full of makeup because been cooking mask. Anyway, I've just come home. It is currently eighteen o. Eighteen oba. Eighteen o one. So it's six o'clock. Right, and I just got home. Gipumap, gibuzeno tumpumap. I've just come back from court, guys. Some people want to, like, ruin your life. Like, so I didn't want to talk about this on my previous, um, on my previous vlogs. Because, obviously, it's a court process and, you know, stuff. So, basically, what had happened was um in january i got involved in an accident right and this accident was not my fault like at all um the lady that bumped into my car literally didn't stop at a t-junction and she i'm a waza my waza 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 but anyway she didn't stop at a t-junction and um basically hit my car so now OCC didn't want to pay, you know, for the damages on my car. Like, Kanjan, my eyes are so red. Anyway, OCC didn't want to pay. Okay, actually, not that she didn't want to pay. OCC, initially, she was like, no, oh, I'll, I'll do a claim on my insurance and, 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 and then um, I'll give you the details. So she did that, right? And I think that her insurance just advised her wrong because they eventually came back to me and said actually am i insurance a scam they are a scam yeah they are a scam like literally because our phone call like people would spend years paying for insurance and when it's time for them to pay our call like it's one thing we client, but we have a phone call we client. Kanga ana nige mina as a third party claiming on behalf of their client's insurance. So basically, what OCC did, she claimed for her car, 
and then she then asked um, third party claim a claim what what process and they said just give the 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 person that you bumped these details they'll call and give them the claim number and then they'll be able to claim we did that um they asked for pictures they asked for quotations from two different um panel beaters i did all of that right literally and then they're like no we'll get our assessor to check that the damages that are on the images that you've sent us are in line with the quotations that you've given us why would i lie why would i lie but anyway it's the process i get it guys you make up them is so rude then their assessor after a week nothing and i call i'm like hey well what's going on with this claim because now it's been a week and no one has said anything and they say oh no the assessor is still assessing a week to look at pictures it's not like the assessor was going to drive and come to me and come look at the car no they asked me to send pictures they asked me to send quotations the assessor has taken over a week to assess pictures photos photos but anyway that's what they said i waited but you know it takes 10 business days 10 business days passed and they're like okay our assessor has come back and they've said yes the damages are in line with the quotations and we are going to be working on the cheapest quotation which i didn't mind i don't care a damn as long as my car is fixed i'm fine cheapest quotation sharp and then they're like, okay, now we have to send it to our management for authorization. Really? Shapo, management, management. Now it takes a couple of business days. Galinda. That was in January. Only for them to come back, I think on the 27th of February or 28th of February, a month later, literally. And they say, you know, after careful consideration, <laughs> we are going to be offering a settlement of this amount and they disclose one third of the amount that it will take to actually fix the car based on the lowest quotation and i was like no that is not going to happen not today not ever over my dead body it's not happening no immediately no so then <laughs> Oh, So I'm like, mm -mm. let me talk to people about my lawyer and see. If I were to take it further, do I have a case or whatever? I'll go to my security because the accident happened inside the estate imagine it happened inside the state thank god it happened inside the state because there's footage of the accident so i go to the security security is like don't worry we got you come back um on so and so date and we'll get the footage for you i'm like yes they get me the footage i'm like yes and now i talk to attorneys two different attorneys i first talk to my friend and i'm like friend please like be honest with me Am I crazy for thinking that I deserve more than what they're offering based on this video? I show her the video and she's like, Bashanya. she even asks like her boss and the boss is like, this person is like 99% in the wrong. Like, Bashanya. like, don't accept that. I asked another friend of mine who's an attorney in Durban and I'm like, listen, brah, this is the situation. What do you think? I sent him the video. He's like, they mad. They are mad. Tell them right now, sit down, get a piece of paper and a pen. This is what you're going to write in the email. He gives me, he gives me, he gives me, I am long, ya pala. To tell them, we will say, one, you're not accepting that um, settlement because you believe that you deserve full compensation because one, she did this, two, she did that, three, she did this, and this is proof. Boom, video. I send it and they're still like, no, we still believe, we still believe that our client is um, not fully in the wrong. And I'm like, these bastards are crazy. Like, 
anyway so i call my friend and i'm like friend what is the next step la? like literally what do you do now what do i do now because they don't want to pay me they keep saying that the settlement is this amount i said no listen go to to court because it's under twenty thousand rand damages go to courts small claims courts um get a letter of demand if they don't pay within that time you go back so this is the process of small claims courts if anyone owes you twenty thousand rand or below you can go to small claims court darling so what they do is that you go there the first time i went there on the was it the first of march 10th of march 10th of march i went there you get a letter of demand so now what i did is i went there i got a letter of demand and i sent it to the lady so the letter of demand says that you need to pay within 14 business days right and if you don't pay then i have to go back to small claims court I give her the letter and she's like, ah, why are you sending this to me? Aren't you supposed to give it to my insurance? I'm like, no, I'm not claiming from your insurance anymore because me and your insurance are not meeting common ground. So now I'm claiming it directly from you. I want my money, you know? Um, and she's like, no, but I'll still send it to my insurance. I was like, well, that's up to you. But Nina, a small claims court. The name that's written there is not freaking my way insurance. It's your name so i do that i serve her with a letter after 14 days i still haven't received any payment from her nothing and then i'm like mm -hmm. i have to go back to small claims court so go back to small claims court after 14 days and what they do is like they tell you no you need to go to the sheriff and the sheriff will serve her with a summons and you'll go to court that's what i did because child i need my car fixed Shapo right so i go to the small claims court they fill out some forms with me fill out some forms they say i need a commissioner of oath i go to the police i walk to the police station because the police station is right behind the court i walk to the police station i get my things certified or stamped by the commissioner of oath and then i get back to small claims and small claims is like okay now you need to go to the sheriff and the sheriff is going to serve her with the summons this is the date of your court this is the court date I go, I go to the sheriff and now you need to pay 500 rand to get the sheriff to send her a letter to go to court. Paid 500 rand, the sheriff served her and then I, um, sorry, I'm just reading the message. And then I, um, got a court date. So today was my court date. Lady was served. She's aware that there's a court date, but she decided not to come. So the judge or the commissioner it's not a judge it's called a commissioner in the small claims courts so the commissioner was like um a judgment in favor of the plaintiff for an amount of this amount plus 500 grand sheriff cost and case closed thank you ma'am bye <laughs> so yeah guys i'm excited about that but like it didn't have to get this far like i was literally calling this lady trying to arrange if she could if i could accept payments that her insurance was offering and then we could make an arrangement with her to like pay the balance like whether it's monthly for two months i was willing to do that but she made it seem like i'm harassing her for my money to fix my car that she crashed into so anyway, um, that is the situation, guys. Um, I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm very happy. Um, I think even if she had pitched, I still would have had a strong case against her. I think maybe that's why she didn't pitch. Um, so now I'll just be waiting for payments. <laughs> anyway, guys, good night, Tini. I need to take off my makeup. Nyabona already, it's a mess and yeah catch up with you guys maybe tomorrow bye um guys actually there's actually no need for me to um come back tomorrow or see you guys tomorrow i'm gonna close this vlog off here i hope that you guys enjoyed 
um if you did please give it a big thumbs up and most importantly guys please subscribe some of you are watching my videos but are not subscribed so i'd really really appreciate it if you were to subscribe um and also comment down below if you have had an experience with insurance companies please do share down below if you want to ask some questions regarding small claims courts if i can i will be able to assist but just ask in the uh, in the comment section um and i'll do my best to answer to the best of my knowledge um otherwise i will see you guys in my next video bye